Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how to install and download uh, Optify Minecraft. Now, this works for any version, however, it's only for vanilla. So, if you want tutorials on Forge, Fabric, or even Cracked Minecraft, I can go ahead and make a tutorial on it in the future, but this video is simply for vanilla. So, go ahead and go to Optify.net and click Downloads and you can click show all versions and choose whichever version you like now if you are looking for a specific optifine version for a specific version of minecraft just go to that version and click plus more and you'll see uh, all the optifine versions for that version of minecraft just for the sake of this video i'm going to be installing 1.17.1 the latest version of the time of this recording so go ahead and click download. Now you will be redirected to this ad page. Do not worry. This is just simply their way of keeping the website up. Now just wait for the timer and click skip at the top right hand corner and you'll be directed to this page. Go ahead and click download. Now depending on your device or your browser, it might say that this type of file can harm your device. That's all right, this is the official Optifine website. They're not going to scam you or anything. If you are really paranoid, make sure that it's a .char file and the name matches up. But let's get to installation. So go ahead and click File Explorer. Go to your downloads and right click, open this up and simply click install. Now the path of this should be correct, but in a rare case that it is not, that's all right. Just click Windows R and go to Percentage App Data, click OK, and go to Minecraft and just copy this path down. It's pretty easy. Paste it here and you'll be fine. Now go ahead and click Install. Now display this message that it is successfully installed. Great. So go ahead and go to Minecraft. Now, you may not have the Optifine version in here, so you, but that's all right, don't, don't panic. Go to Installations, click New Installation, and you should be able to find it in this drop-down box here. Go ahead and select a version, name it, choose the icon, press Create. It's easy as that. Now, thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope you guys enjoy.